Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to learn how to perform a screen capture. Sometimes you would like to do a screen capture of your pointwise grid. Perhaps you'd like to include it in a report or simply paste it into an email. Many Windows and Linux systems have a built-in way to do this. The first option is to push the print screen button on the keyboard to capture your entire desktop image. Or you can push the Alt button plus the print screen button simultaneously to capture only the image of the working window. Now if you're on a Mac system, you can use the combination of Command key plus the Shift key plus the number 4. Now once you've done that, you've copied the image to your computer's clipboard and you can paste it into your favorite image processing program for manipulation or saving. Here's an example. We have my airfoil domain shown here. I'm going to go ahead and push the Alt key plus print screen. Now it should have saved the pointwise window. I'm going to open up Paintbrush. I'm going to paste it in there. Just go to paste. Now at this point I can manipulate the image in any way I want or I can save the file. But let's go back to pointwise. Pointwise has a built-in feature that instantly saves the active display window to a PNG graphics file. You can invoke this by going into the file menu and selecting print to file. This is going to open up a dialog box and you can type in the name of your image. In this case, my airfoil3.png and then just push the save button. Now you can go back to your graphics program or any other program for that matter and you can open it up. In this case, my airfoil3, push the open button and there it is. Now let's go back to pointwise. There is one last thing I'd like to show you. Under the file menu, if you go down to print to file setup, you have several options available before you save the image. You have a couple different options for the foreground color. You have a couple different options for the background color. You can also change the DPI resolution and you can specify the image size. At that point, push OK. So then when you go into the file, print to file, it will take into account the options that you've changed. If you like this video, be sure to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.